Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Lindsay Hargett of LK Cooking is here. She cooks everything and anything, and we always love having her on, but today has been all about health and wellness. Mm -hmm. I have my yogurt, but we're gonna talk about some other options that are also very healthy yes. prep ahead for breakfast. Prep ahead breakfast. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, we used to say that breakfast was the most important meal of the day and we've kind of veered away from that. And we either, I feel like we either don't eat breakfast or we, you know, we grab those like chocolate protein shakes from Costco or, you know, those quick things that, that aren't super healthy for you. And so I, I just wanted to show a couple of my favorite ways to prep ahead because I'm the kind of person that if I don't have something already ready in the morning, I'm the one that's going to skip breakfast. I am the so, same way. I always think I'll just do it in the morning, but then I never and do. And then I, I never want time. To. Exactly. And, yeah, so. and just grab something on my way out the yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. But that I love having choices and healthy choices yes. at that. It helps. Yes. In, we want to enjoy eating healthy. Yes, exactly. So. And then I feel like breakfast is such a great way to, you know, just fill yourself full of so many good things. So we've got all these like amazing, you know, superfoods basically Absolutely. and um, I feel like with superfoods sometimes it's hard you know you think of all these cool exciting things but you never really know where to get them you know <laughs> do I get things at this like strange markets or order them online but yeah. there are there are local places to get these and my favorite is Redmond Farms there's one um, in Orem Heber they've got a truck that comes around with most of these things and we'll talk about that in a little bit but that's where I got most of my things today nice. so we're just gonna talk about first we're gonna do some oatmeal and I know the oatmeal is kind of boring usually people think oh Oh, almost kind of mushy and gross and you know if it doesn't have dinosaur eggs in it we want nothing to do with it <laughs> but we're gonna make it healthy and like I said there are so many ways to just fill these these recipes that we're gonna be doing full of all of this goodness without it affecting the flavor at all so with the oatmeal um, we're going to make it so today I'm gonna use some gluten-free oats and you can do that you can do regular oats and so we just got about a cup of oats and then one of the most amazing parts of this oatmeal is that we're going to use some raw milk from Redmond they're known for the raw milk it's it's unpasteurized it's it's you know it's a whole fat milk like we were talking about earlier but it it's just you know it's the good fats it's the good milk like I've, I've seen these dairy cows myself and they're the happy little you know cows <laughs> eating grass and they're the ones you want to yes have milk exactly <laughs> they make the best milk so we've got two cups of that that we're gonna add in here I'm gonna let you add in we've got some blueberries I like to keep you guys know I like to keep frozen berries on hand but you can do any fresh berry or any frozen berry nice. you can do medleys I like blueberries because they kind of give you a pop once now is cook. this old-fashioned oats or quick oats uh, these are rolled oats I've rolled done oats. quick oats before but I feel like they have a little bit more bite to them when yeah. you do the rolled oats. So nice. one thing that I really like about this one, this is my blueberry chia seed oatmeal, is to add chia seeds to it. And I know chia seeds, you know, they're one of those weird superfoods. I know my dad's rolling his eyes right now at these weird things. <laughs> but what I really love about the chia seeds is not only do they give you tons of omega-3s, they're just really good for you, but they give the oatmeal a little, not a bite, but they give it just a little bit more texture. So instead oh, of just nice. having mushy oatmeal, like I said, it's not a crunch or anything, but they give it just a little bit more texture, just enough. I love chia seeds. So, My kids are a little freaked out by them, but I'm going to get them over that problem. Mm -hmm. so. They're great. So we've got those in there. I'm going to add a little bit of my homemade vanilla because that love goes in everything. Vanilla. Another thing that goes in everything, I put Redmond's real salt in everything. You've heard me gush about that before. I love it. Somebody I, told me the other day that I was, they're like, oh, you're the one that's obsessed with salt. And I'm like, just this kind. I have to admit, we use it. 100% in our house now. So. Exactly, it's fantastic. <laughs> so, um, one of the great things about this is that you can sweeten it any way you'd like. If you like brown sugar in your oatmeal, you can totally do that, but if you wanna keep it cleaner, you can do coconut sugar. I love to add either maple syrup or some raw honey. We're gonna add syrup here because it'll flow a little faster for TV. <laughs> but, so you just add like a tablespoon and a half of that. This recipe will be up on my website. The blog post will be up tonight because I've got my new blog recipe. And can we up. learn more about your homemade vanilla yes. on your website? Okay, I good. will be talking about, a little side note, I'll be talking about how to make my homemade vanilla on Orson Geeky's website oh, nice. next week. So stay tuned for that. Exciting. So, you know, you also can add a banana in here. I know it doesn't it smell so, so great. Good. So you can add a banana in here and then really you're just gonna kind of bring this to a simmer and let it cook you know, like 10 minutes. This is the best because you can make it ahead of time. I did this just last night. This was the easiest segment to prep for because I just threw everything nice. in the pot and then put it all in these containers. When I have these in my fridge, I love myself when I wake up in the morning because I've got a breakfast that's ready to go. You can add a little bit more raw milk or even almond milk if you want to do dairy free. You can make this completely vegan. I'm going to open it up so they can see how beautiful yes. it looks. So this is what it looks like the next day. And it looks I a love little... It, but I love oatmeal. So. Yes. I, I didn't love oatmeal before, but the trick to how I started loving oatmeal was adding a dollop of fresh peanut butter to it. 
because it just mm. gives it that like creamy, you can do almond butter, anything you want. That is my very favorite part. I will not eat oatmeal without a dollop of peanut butter. So if you're a skeptic, So that's you add the way that in go. the next day or the day before, it doesn't matter. I add it right before I eat it. You can add it in the morning of, but I like a nice cold scoop of it with my warm oatmeal. So you oatmeal. heat this up on your way out the door, mm -hmm. throw in a scoop and of add that in, and oh. you are good to go. You will be sold. You're gonna oh. love this. So. I love it. But we're not stopping at oatmeal. We no. have more. We've got superfood smoothies coming up. You're gonna wanna see what all of these do for you. So all right, well, we are going to take a quick break, but if you don't want to miss the smoothies, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Lindsay Hargett is here from LK Cooking. She just showed us a wonderful, yummy morning oatmeal breakfast recipe you can mm -hmm. make ahead. And now we're talking green smoothies. Yes, superfood smoothies. So smoothies are the best way if you don't want to eat healthy or if you do want to eat healthy and you want to get those <laughs> in there. I'm not a big, you know, seller of hiding your nutrients from your kids or yourself. I feel like you should really you know, embrace them and love them. But you know, some of these things are a little weird. Again, I know my dad is just rolling his eyes at all of this, but they're good for you. And if you put them in a smoothie with a banana and some peanut butter, you're never gonna know they're there. So. Love it. We'll all right, just, what do you have? So we'll show you a couple of things. So we've got, if you put, if you soak some cashews and put them in there, that is a great way to get, uh, you know, some protein and they make it really, really creamy. Um, I'm gonna put this down so I'm not hiding behind it. Yes. Um, you can also do, you can add greens to it. That's, this is the best way to get a serving of greens in. You can do spinach. I love to do baby kale because it isn't quite as sharp as, you know, full mature kale. And again, you put it in a smoothie, you cannot taste it. You really can. And you no. might be put off by the green, but yeah, I, I love it. And my just kids actually the love color. it too. That's yeah, it. So, so good. like I said, that's the best way to get your, your vegetables in. Another great way is adding cauliflower. It I've never done that. It doesn't add flour or it doesn't add flavor or anything, but it does add, you know, so much goodness from the cauliflower. Again, you can't taste it. Fresh veggies. Just throw all of Fresh those veggies, things in yeah. there. Um, but like I said, Redmond Farms has so many great things, and this is where I got all of, I just was like a kid in the candy store yesterday, <laughs> getting all of the great things. Like I, we've got bee pollen, which is a great source of vitamin A. We've got um, maca powder, which is a great, like energy source. Um, you can get some cacao powder if you want them chocolate. I love chocolate smoothies. Um, I love adding Greek yogurt to my smoothies and my dogs know when I start making smoothies that they get, you know, to lick the spoon of Greek yogurt or the peanut butter. Um, so it's great <laughs> for everybody. My dog just likes cheese. So yeah, oh, my dog does cheese. You can't even say but cheese. But um, if you want your smoothies a little sweeter with all these vegetables, a great way to do that is to either do maple syrup or the raw honey or even adding dates. They're a little crazy looking, but you just add it in there and it purees right up. You can also get a date syrup from Redmond Farms, nice. which is just like a maple syrup. And so all of these things, I mean, they're awesome, but the biggest thing, you can start your smoothie off with some raw milk, which is just full of great nutrients. Like I said, it's not, um, it's not pasteurized. It's just a really great, you know, starter for it. And so like I said earlier, they do have a location in Heber. They have a bigger location with a farm kitchen in Orem and Sugar House. But now they have this awesome raw milk truck, which is like a food truck but they've got their raw milk, their honey, it. their grass-fed beef, they've got their kombucha on tap, which kombucha is my very favorite thing, and I love their kombucha. So they've got all of their, you know, their amazing things, and they come to Park City. The milk truck comes right here to Park City. It's on Landmark Drive. You're gonna, you can look at redmondfarms.com or on their Instagram at Redmond Farms. And we're gonna and sample. Yes, we gotta okay. try all these things. We're not actually gonna mix. We're gonna no, save that'd be you from way that too loud. sound so. trouble. So, but. So we've got a pre-made frozen smoothie. Okay, I'm gonna try to slug this <laughs> Get down. some of it, yeah. <laughs> like a smoothie shot. So this is my PB&J smoothie. It has I peanut mean, butter scary, and, actually. yeah. It's got peanut butter and frozen strawberries, frozen bananas, frozen fruits and vegetables are the key to getting it creamy. So, so good. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite. And I can just tell that it's healthy for me. And can you yummy. tell that like a slew of these ingredients are even in there? No. Mm -mm. Not at all. Like I nope, said, they hide in there, I love it. and it just starts rough so great. I'm going to try some of this oatmeal, too. Do it, the oatmeal is my very favorite done thing. Done with the show, but what a great way to end. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, the oatmeal and the smoothies will both be on my website at lkcooking.com very soon. So good. I love it, Lindsay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Your website? Yes, lkcooking.com or lkcooking on Instagram. That's where I'm most most active. So. She has a wonderful Instagram account. It's a lot of fun to follow her and her cute dogs and everything dogs she's doing. All and the Instagram. lots of really inspiring cooking ideas. So thank you for inspiring me in yes. the kitchen. Thanks I'm for looking forward me. to prepping some oatmeal. I think You're I'll make a bunch this. for Sundance. Mm -hmm. Maybe even some smoothies. Yeah. So all right, we have come to the end of the show today. I'm feeling healthy and well, inspired by Make-A-Wish, People's Health Clinic, Connect, Summit County, Lindsay Target, Marissa Cardwell. What a wonderful full show. We will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m for a wonderful Friday. Have a great day, stay safe.